Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Prizebox Productions, and this is not a weird YouTube expedition. <clears throat> I'm going to explain why in a second, but I just have something uh, to, uh, to tell you. So, do you remember Mr. Biffle's found footage? Okay, well, the guy behind that, Mr. Biffo, otherwise known as Paul Rose, is working on a new series called Digitizer the Show. And it stands to be pretty weird, and, I heard, and I've heard that Goo John John is in it too. <clears throat> so, you should, so, yeah, his Kickstarter starts up on March 9th, so check it out. And I'm probably going to do probably one of the videos, one of the videos he's going to put up after that. But, anyway, back to what we're doing today. So, Ben Shill suggested that I look up the video, Illuminati Songs Reversed. Now, this, has to do, this video has to do with, like, I'm assuming it has to do with backmasking songs and finding hidden messages in them that have to, I guess, do with the Illuminati or Satanism or something like that. The problem is that I don't actually believe in this stuff. Mostly because humans have the ability to sense patterns. So, sometimes you'll see things that, are, that seem to make sense, but actually don't, and you're seeing a pattern that doesn't exist. And that's and this is well known already, and it's well known already that this is just a conspiracy theory that just really doesn't make sense. Because like, why would you hide hidden messages in songs? I mean, it doesn't make sense to that because that's not a really good communication method to try and send hidden messages that are of somehow global importance to a secret person or whatever. Because everybody knows about back backmasking. Um, Lust words into songs in the first place. Some people do it intentionally, and it's usually made to make make fun of people who are looking for this kind of stuff. And then you have the fact that there are other ways you could probably hide messages. Something I learned in my domestic security and um, terrorism class in, in college was that they use a method of they use a method of steganography where they embed messages into websites, embedded into the code. Um, but that's but then again that's one way that um, that that can be used. Why would you use songs that people will be where people will obviously be looking for hidden messages? So yeah, we're gonna look at a video that has made up of a bunch of these, but um, because of copyright reasons, I'm not gonna have the full song going forward. I'm only gonna have the backward parts, and I'm probably gonna have to inform you which song it is just in case it's not immediately noticeable. So without further ado. Let's get to the video. Illuminati Puppets. Fergus notice any copyright material used, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I could use this argument, but it hasn't worked for me sometimes. They still block my videos or do something else with it. I would hardly call this educational, uh, educational stuff. Yeah, I like how they use this really old effect, a New World Resistance. This is like a Windows Movie Maker effect. <laughs> New World Order backmasking. Yeah, okay, so like I said before, this, there are better ways to hide messages and hide messages to deliver to people than doing it like this. Because this way is because this way is just so useless that it wouldn't make any sense to do it. Justin Bieber, evil messages revealed in hit song Baby. Well, I guess it makes sense for Justin Bieber. I mean, he is the root of all evil. <laughs> but um, I really don't like him. And I don't like this song. It's annoying. And I heard it so much when I was in high school because people kept playing it or something like that. Not even about something like that. I mean, they were singing the song sometimes. And it would always get annoying because it was like, it. it is the perfect example of an earworm. It is like the most annoying song. And if it gets in your head, it's just going to be stuck there on repeat. Yeah, we already, I think I already pointed that out. First, I'll play the sound clip regular, and then after, you'll hear the reverse. Or in this, or from this point, you will only hear the reverse, because I'm not willing to take this risk. Now, backwards! Okay. Okay, it didn't even sound like he was saying we're going to. I mean, I hear... 
I didn't hear New World Order in that at all. I mean, I heard something, something like Satanic, but I heard New. Or I, heard, I didn't hear anything that sounded like New World Order. Message two. First, I'll play sound clip regular. Then, uh, yeah, I get it. No backwards. See his body's dead. Okay, that one actually sounded like it. But what does that have to do with the Illuminati or the New World Order? What does a sea of dead bodies have to do with anything? I mean, you'd probably say it has to do with genocide, I guess, but you could, I mean, technically a graveyard would be a sea of dead bodies too, but... Alright, so we've reached the most annoying part in the song, and it's going to be played backwards. <laughs> I'm not sure if it'll help. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! I knew he was the evil one! <laughs> what do new shirts have to do with anything? This actually sounds like he actually is saying that. Don't be fooled, this is not an accident. Not... Don't be fooled, this is not accident? You didn't, don't be, you should say, don't be fooled, this is not an accident, or this is not accidental. Yeah, I'm critiquing the way this thing is written, but, um, but, yeah, it is. What you're doing here is seeing a pattern that does not exist. Justin Bieber's young leader of Illuminati New World Order. Yeah, right. Okay, so that's so unlikely because he has a large fandom, but he has an equally large, if not larger, hate them. So I don't understand how he could lead anything. <laughs> it, that wouldn't make any sense at all. He'd have, it, so he'd be the least likely person to do something like that because he's so hated. It seems like this video was made by somebody who actually hated Justin Bieber and was trying to get people to... Trying to get people to hate him too, and trying to find like a real, trying to find like a reason or something. You can't deny the evidence. Uh, yeah, I can't. Wait, is it? Wait a minute. Is this a? Is this like a compilation video? So, the, so who edited? So somebody just took a whole bunch of other people's stuff and just edited it together. Well, I shouldn't complain about that. That's kind of what I do too. All right, the Beatles, Revolution Number Nine. Okay, so I already knew about this one. It's like the "Come and Get Me, Dead Man" one. Um. The, I heard already know about this one because my teacher back, back when I when I was a freshman he was like a Beatles fan and he actually played this for us um, in school at one point. Reverse. Oh, it's turn me on, Deadman. <laughs> this had something to do with Paul McCartney's alleged death. Going to look at fascinating contemporary pop music. All right, all right. That didn't even sound like um. Like she said that. I like how they say it's saying hair, kitty, kitty, and they keep, then they said, "Oh no, it's really she's really saying here." Like you're just you're really trying to stretch what she's trying to say. What? What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with the New World Order? What does that have to do with anything? Oh, fabulous. Oh, I remember this uh, from my school music. I did, a, I did an AMV with this song once because it was so popular and so annoying. Yeah, how did that even... Because like, I know that's not what she's saying. She's saying fabulous. I don't think fabulous backwards equals that. You know, I just realized how well choreographed that is. <laughs> uh, it looks really good. It looks really good. Well choreographed backwards. Okay. Yeah, that didn't sound... That didn't sound anything like that at all. Okay, because so you know that um, that Hannah Montana also is the root of all evil, <laughs> and so is Disney. Love for sale. You'd think we'd question why I want. 
Well, I think it's finally reached this world. What does that mean? Like, that doesn't even, this, this is just a jumble of nonsense. Love for, what does it easily just be, what does this have to do with the New World Order? This just sounds like she's talking about prostitution. What? Well, okay, that makes sense, I guess. Money does talk. Money talks, people listen. That's typically how it works. Well, alright. So, what are, are these, is these all gonna be Disney, Disney people now? Okay, that one actually sounded disturbingly creepy. <laughs> but I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. Okay. That didn't even sound like that! I don't care about your ass. Alright. Alright, I'm, I'm not doing any more of these. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not doing any more. Because, um, these are not messages. They're just a jumble of revert words reversed, and people are just drawing a pattern from the nonsense. There is no pattern here, and it's nothing, there's nothing connecting anything to anything in this, and it's basically nothing. I mean, like I said, there are better ways to hide messages and send them to people than doing it this way. This way is the most inefficient way because people can find them. To me, all this is just people who are complaining about people who are more talented than them. Like they're saying, oh, these people are more talented, they're richer than me. Um, no, so they must have done something. I mean, I'm talented. I should be rich and famous. Why are they rich and famous? They're not that good. It must be because they made some kind of deal with the devil or they did some or they did or they're working for the new world order or something it has to be that it sounds like the, it sounds like because what it, it sounds like to me is that it's the dunning kruger effect just with um just it just tied to a conspiracy theory <clears throat> that's what it feels like to me because that because it doesn't because a lot of this doesn't make sense you have them talking about things like masturbation or just love for sale and it doesn't make sense because one of those things i don't they would have to do with the New World Order or the Illuminati or anything. And the thing about the Illuminati is that it's an organization that's been dead for like a dead for a couple of centuries now. It was the Bavarian Secret Society, and Bavaria outlawed secret societies, and it went away. I mean, there are other organizations out there that are trying to manipulate politics in the world. Those are more concerning. The Illuminati, however, it wouldn't be considering all they're interested in is worshipping the devil and masturbation. This would be the most ineffective um, organization trying to control the world. They would be so ineffectual and useless that they can't even hide their own their um their works from anybody in any efficient way. So I'm just gonna go with I don't know why I did this <laughs> did this video. Because I didn't even finish the whole thing because then I got so annoyed with the fact that this none of this in this none of the stuff in this video makes any sense so with that i'm gonna end this video here so be sure to check out my other videos with those prize box productions and videos with our channels prize box gaming and prize box reacts thanks for watching and stay jamming everyone